Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Stars Review. Hope you all are safe and great and here we are with another review. The Old Guard, based on Image comic series directed by Gina Prince Bythewood. The story starts with four ancient immortal mercenaries, led by Andy, played by Charlize Theron. Along with Andy, Booker, Joe, and Nikki are other three who are centuries old with healing and regenerating abilities. In a modern world, Copley, who is a former CIA, hires the team to rescue some kidnapped children from South Sudan. In the middle of their mission, the team is ambushed by the squad of soldiers. They are shot down, but with their ability. They are back on their feet, killing each and every one on the squad team. Andy and the team figures Copley has set them up. While the immortal starts their hands for Copley, they all have a dream about a new and latest immortal. Andy heads out to recruit the new one who is in Afghanistan, a U.S. Marine, Niall Freeman. She also shares the dream with immortals that connects them to find each other. As Niall questions Andy about this mystery of immortal, we see Copley making a deal with pharma executive Stephen Merrick. Andy and Niall meets the team in France, where Niall gets to know about Quinn, who was first to Andy's comrades. Quinn was casted into the sea in an iron coffin, drowning continuously for 500 years. She is also revealed that they are really not immortal and at any time could be last. While all are captured except Niall, she learns why Copley has done that. Copley and Niall teams together to rescue Andy and team from Merrick's lab. Niall learns Andy has lost her immortality, but that's not gonna keep her from the action. The team finishes Steven Merrick, lets Book go and tells Copley to be their manager. After six months, we see Quinn in Book's apartments. The Old Guard is a great action drama movie. Netflix should have promoted this movie a little more so more people could know about it. The two hour movie kept me engaged throughout from the beginning. The story, the action was great. One thing that I didn't like was the sloppy camera angles. I'd say shaky or couldn't just follow action movements. Kind of like the camera team tried to stay in their comfort zone. The chemistry between characters are great, but the script left some important explanations behind every character. Like why were they chosen and what purpose did they have? Nevertheless, I hope the director gives us an improved sequel, which I am looking forward to. I'll give 4 stars out of 5. Thank you all for watching, and if you like the video, give a thumbs up for more great contents. Till then, stay safe and see you all in another video.